Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Market Sniper back to you from the kitchen at parties. Yes, yes, utensils all abound in the background. Glad to be with you. Uh, Going to be taking you into our least popular videos that will make you the most money that you've not been paying any attention to that's right uh, we're going to be talking about the topic the squeezy squeezy japanese you love the catchphrase but you don't want to make the money you don't want to make the money they throw in at you yes a first world economy just because it's on the other side of the planet you can't perceive the wealth to be made by it you think you have to be closer to that market you have to stand there next to toyota motor cup you got to feel like you like you know it you've got to like the Ford dealer in your country there in the US of A or maybe a plant in Australia or maybe who knows a distributor in South Africa or the UK you've got to feel it you've got to be close to it otherwise you won't make the money well it doesn't work that way you have a major macro force that is absolutely hammering it and we've been banging on about it and you are probably not making any of the money on it yet and it's only just beginning it's not too late to even begin and uh, never mind uh, the end it's not too late to start it's barely the beginning why because HVF method is early you get extra time and then you get to see some of the early moves that occur in our uh, market calls long before they happen and now instead of just sniper and his crazy notions you have the knowledge that Buffett is in the trade. So now you can lend and lean on off, off his credibility. Remember, this is the trade that Drucken Miller couldn't tell you about. Uh, nobody said at the beginning of 23, looking forward for 23, anything. We were talking about it all from mid-22. The equities, the macro equities in the Nikkei. Of course, we were talking about it in our community even earlier. We started to YouTube about it uh, in around the 22. In fact, on the last five years, we've been talking about the yen and its loss of value uh, and what that will mean and we've been joining those dots for you on the equity size in the last two and a half years uh, and now all of a sudden now you can hear about other people that are putting on the trade maybe that will give you more confidence but this move isn't over and I'll be showing you people that think it is uh, that think it's wild and insane those are people that haven't realized that you've been three and a half decades of downside sideways never getting close to your 1990 high on the Nikkei that amount of hate that amount of despondency that amount of false dawns I sat in the UK for 20 years watching the same analysts say this is going to be the year of Japan and said no 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 and it wasn't there technically that's the value of being a macro technical analyst no 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 and then suddenly yes just like those silver investors saying that will never happen etc etc wrong 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 everything in due course the most hated markets eventually uh, respond and respond in a big big way and as long as they've been hated is as big as they will subsequently move so while we're having this little chat don't forget to hit the like buttons and smash some Subscribe. lots of people are being said they aren't getting notified even after hitting always get notified always do it do it do it otherwise you're going to be missing the biggest and best trades so let's just recap the story just me and you having a conversation in the kitchen you like that uh, less of the charts for now more of a chat a chat with good old uncle Frank sitting here oh there's a nice warming stove it's certainly not on at the moment plenty warm and a schmeg here we're in we're having a little kitchen fireside chat without the fire <laughs> anyway so we spoke about pensioners and having uh, the old geezers following you around that you're carrying financially, you know, with their incontinent sack along with them smelling like stale pee. Yep, you've got one of those on your shoulder. You better start making money, man. You gotta pick. You gotta carry these old geezers. They won't die. It's time for a little bit of pharmaceutical intervention that could be injected. That'll see them off. Uh, anyway, let's not get uh, lost in the weeds here. Uh, so seaweed, funny enough, a very good thing to be consuming. Some in the Japanese. Japanese do and has them live a lot longer but something they haven't been doing is providing babies so they have an inverted demographic curve um, and hence why I've been talking about the old geezer that follows you around that you just write the checks for everything he wants in previous videos um, what else about Japan well you see Japan used to have 
an incredibly strong currency. At one point, it was 684 yen to the pound, and it just kept getting stronger and stronger. And it was always in deep in the 200s, if you go back 60s, 70s. Why was that? Well, you see, their currency kept getting stronger because their nation state made a whole bunch of things out of raw materials that everybody wanted because it was highly refined, did excellent job, was super reliable. I used the sort of avatar of Toyota in a motor car because everybody kind of gets that. They don't only do cars, uh, but let's just stay with that one because everyone kind of gets it. It works, it breaks less often, it's super reliable. They infinitesimally do little things so small and check and they massage their piggies and their beef for so long so you know just one little cow and they love him for three years before they turn him into steak it's that kind of psychotic attention detail that you've just simply got to uh, admire the bonsai tree little no oh, i must have miniature little clippers and do this this is these guys are great uh, i love them i love them and they are detailed people and so they just turn out much better much more robust stuff if we go with our avatar car of uh, say a toyota and they managed to grow these mega corporations and again it's not just cars but let's stay with toyota that continue to have market share the world over all the time that their currency was getting stronger so now i'm talking 60s 70s 80s and in fact i'm even referring to prof verna post the world war ii and eventually the federal reserve came along and said hey you guys appear to have a savings problem you know that terrible problem when you make so much stuff that everybody wants and you don't like or buy everybody else's problem you know china made that mistake next thing they got imported british soldiers uh, and opium and the right to sell drugs and turn their daughters into prostitutes and their men into worthwhile worthless dregs that's what they did and now you have japan suddenly had this savings problem making a bit too much money not buying enough of everybody this massive balance of payments uh, and this is obviously terrible for Japan you know your currency keeps getting stronger and buying you better holidays you know you saw them coming on tours to London and so they, they're probably a bit too nervous for South Africa um, but you know mega buses with aircon long before anyone knew hired the best cameras out here brand new clean clip golf shirts taking pictures of everything the wealthiest and best tourists you know they're clearly suffering for doing so well and having all of these terrible extra savings so they got exported a little solution it's kind of like democracy that gets exported by our zio kings um, they got exported a debt bubble and that was the beginning of the 80s and 90s and they actually had an aggressive calling campaign through the banks and everything else they chased everybody into property and you could pledge your portfolio and get 10x on borrowing more and buy another portfolio and that means you had a super big balance sheet so you could get 10x on that and buy a further portfolio and you could actually have started with tens of thousands and quickly be swinging a credit line of millions and then those millions would be pledged and get you uh, tens and hundreds of millions and they had a mega shoot bubble and nothing causes chaos like zombie banks after a mega bubble and you know who is the specialist in the pump and dump scheme so japan to destroy their savings problem and to create something else that could suck cash like a bottomless pit uh, got themselves a little uh, pump and dump scheme and it wasn't so little it was huge and their housing market shot everything shot and then the banks that lent were clearly bust and so it was so they got a 2008 experience that you all know only they got it 20 years before 20 maybe even 25 years before uh, as a result they were the forerunners prof Werner again I'll refer to that video uh, where he coined the term in English quantitative easing where they then proliferated currency so this was the beginning of the end for the Japanese currency once they stopped doing smart things like making awesome detailed highly elaborate 
manufactured items out of raw materials that really work better than anybody else. Remember Kaizen and all of these things. All of these things were the talk of the consultants of the, the 80s and 90s that Japan had brought. You know, this continual process of micro improvement. They weren't necessarily the biggest inventors. They just made everything better, smaller, lighter. Uh, and so it went. Now, now they got into banking. They got introduced to a bit of the old Ursary game, courtesy of the you know who's. And uh, next thing you know, they have a, an absolute hollowed out zombie banking system. This then saw the mega pump of the Nikkei that was largely on property and hypervaluation of everything uh, lead to a super, super big dump that then was so big because the debt was so large that they created that essentially they should have probably declared bankruptcy and killed their central bank. But they limped on and on and on. And this is how long you have to walk off an absolute hangover. They got introduced to drugs, cocaine, tequila and whiskey all in the same night and they ended up on the bender from hell that their heart nearly stopped the next day and they've been limping ever since. That was the rise for this year will be the Nikkei's turn. It's got to happen. One day I'll be right. The clocks kept calling the turn until of course yours truly the market sniper said we have now moved sufficiently and we are making technical bottoms and the currency was now becoming the focal point for real weakness something we've covered for the better part of five years and eventually the currency devaluation starts to see the assets that are still very good productive uh, companies producing highly desirable uh, out, uh, outputs eventually start to do rather well remember it was the key aspect that they export these things to far off lands. So now their costs in yen, they fought and became incredible companies in spite of a depreciating currency. So all their salaries, everybody who was earning and everything were high because their currency was strong and they were selling into countries whose currencies were relatively weak. Now they have this huge tailwind. Despite that, they stole market share from the likes of Chevrolet, Corp, uh, Ford, uh, which eventually became General Motors, etc., etc. All these brands got cobbled together. Chrysler, oh my God, it went you know in and out of various bankruptcies, sold to Fiat, whatever, whatever conglomerate. One big massive pension fund that occasionally makes shoddy cars on the side. Um, essentially, they were destroying these guys in spite of a super strong currency that kept meaning that to make costs super super low, be highly efficient because you don't give salary cuts because your currency is the strongest in the world. So they ended up winning market share in one of the toughest headwind environments. Now what's happened is we have a reverse polarity. Thanks to them being the lowest interest rate environment, the Bank of Japan being the biggest owner of debt uh, and many other asset classes as well because of zombie financials, courtesy of the Fed and the people behind the Fed getting involved to sort out their savings problem. Their savings and surplus problem when you when you do too much good business and you're not buying enough of other people's garbage relative products. Yep. And so that's how we got to how we got. And now it's time to look at those YouTubes that you've had to remind you that uh, we are been covering Japan for an extended period. You've got six months ago over here how de-dollarization plays out profiting from the yen short the Nikkei long strategy that was six months ago, seven months ago, three months ago, seven months ago, stream, 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 covering ad nauseum the fact that the Japanese yen is in real trouble. As the debt markets have turned, they can't turn with interest rates to the same degree because they have even bigger, bigger debt and they are not the global currency of the world. They do not have the exorbitant privilege of providing dollars also to the rest of the world where all that surplus liquidity can be soaked up because people have borrowed in dollars in other currencies. No. So Japan has this really bad problem and it's a first world economy. It's a first world economy with super low interest rates. So you can actually short the yen real cheap. And this is what we've been discussing. And now those big corporations that are actually getting stronger currencies now and none of them are great but stronger currencies they could turn all their surpluses into gold i doubt they would but nonetheless 
uh, even raw materials for that matter, uh, but their currency is weakening. All those salaries are becoming less of a cost, but we'll be talking about the costs in homeland where all the design work is done, where a lot of uh, the manufacturing is done, although not exclusively etc etc is shrinking and they're earning a currency that is appreciating the yen lost 30 percent last year the yen lost 30 percent last year when you are a massive manufacturer do you even quantifically understand the margins are paper thin to get a currency tailwind of that level where all your costs are actually shrinking and all your incomes are expanding by the degree of 30 percent to a woku a global average i mean that is an unbelievable but they survived and became so good in the absolute opposite circumstances and now they're getting the reverse polarity and this is why you're going to see the majors fly the majors majors fly and they're going to fly to a great degree and everybody thinks they've flown too much they've done too much already etc etc no no and no how big is the death ponzi you ask it's much bigger than you imagine and three and a half decades uh, of underperformance is far 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 away and there's been a lot of inflation in asset prices all over over the world a lot of devaluation in buying power all over the world and now their currency that can't have the same level of rates as the fed continues to lose uh, even if they do occasional yield curve control but let it creep up you're going to continue to have lower costs because the yen currency will continue to devalue to the likes of the dollar or anyone else and the gold don't forget on this same channel we showed you gold jpy in 2019 an upside hvf beautiful people an upside hvf with a mammoth major move maybe i need to remind you of that one too we can pull it up later so here were your videos let's go have a look at those charts and the nikkei uh, to have a look at all of that so we're on the three weeker uh, i'll probably pull it right up to the monthly so that you can see where it all began there is your super pumper mentals move that brought you to the doorstep of the 40k mark i'm going to go logarithmic so that we can get a, a sense of scale that target looks a lot closer than it actually is at 57,000. there was your big big pump starting in 74 uh, at around 3,200, what was the level? 3,300, 3,500, all the way up to 38,900. So you're going from 3,500 to 38,900. So you're talking about a literal 10x plus, it's a 10x plus from uh, the lows of 74 to the absolute high of 89 74 to 89 in 15 years you did a 10x on an everyday index 10x in 15 years guys that is 10 times your money in 15 years but you were never to see that level again for three and a half decades and you came all the way down to this ultimate low over here in between the crash bottom low which was in and around 7400 7400 down from 39,000 7 to 39 my maths is getting weak on me now but it's almost a sixth it's certainly 20 percent of what it once was and below um so you had around 19 percent of what you originally once had you're talking about 81 percent downside correction this is crypto by the way and by the way crypto is learned from the pump bubbles of japan and everything else with its 80 percent corrections you're looking at the original the og squeezy squeezy pumper mental dumper mental yes you're looking at it right here in terms of the nikkei so with that said let's go back uh, and have a look so that was your history 38,957 basically 39,000 so what did we say well we've shown you this chart quite a few times we said the neckline of 20,000 was a really key moment 
And since 20,000, we've said this is beginning to look like a clear cut reversal buy. I'm going to just jump in between the regular and the logarithmic just so that you can appreciate what that target is when we say 57,000. It's a long way away, guys. That is a ballsy call. Ballsy call, especially at 20,000, less so at 35,000 after you've already added 15,000 onto that neckline break. That was our uh, call from way down at 20,000. This was an inverted head and shoulder break to the upside. Uh, and here you can see it. So the blue is your left shoulder. That's what the annotation is attempting to tell you. The right shoulder is here. The 20K law of round numbers, one of the codes and one of the things you will learn, one of the special secrets you will learn as you trade with us as HVF method traders, making macro technical calls that you could literally position your pension on and go to sleep on and forget and watch pump, pump, go generally outperforming. And you can be the newspaper articles, the news before the news. You can be in before Buffett, before Druckenmiller has worked it out uh, and before any of the newspapers are even talking about it. That comes three years later. That's called news before the news. That's HVF method. You click the first link below and decide to change your wealth monumentally, patiently and be positioned with the tailwind at your back instead of fighting your way into the headwinds and up slippery slopes. OK, so that's uh, the triggering event. Had a pullback. Of course, that involved the events of March 2020. Another major accumulation point from the events of March 2020 where you had a low. Where was the low 2020? 16. You are now at 35. That is a 2x and some good people, three grand on top of uh, on that. That's on an equity index in, wait for it, March 20. That was just yesterday we were there, man. Jeez, these years are flying by. I can't believe it's uh, you need another three months before that's four years ago. You're talking about three and three quarter years ago. And you've gone from 16 to 35 on a normal index. You could have had a 2x tracker on that, a 2x multiplier on that, and you've done four times your money. There are, I think there might be even 3x. Who knows? Go and research uh, for yourself. The Nikkei is a running. And we're going to drill down a little more. We gave you in these videos the least watched. And this is a pet peeve for me, not because you guys uh, aren't great fans and I'm totally grateful, but it's because the things that people least understand often have their best uh, gifts. When we look at any of uh, these videos, if I just go to that video, you will see it has uh, roughly a 0.5 to normal viewing. So we know as people that watch YouTube, you see this uh, 31 out of 100. OK, that's kind of the SEO title too long, too short. Where was it? It just is an underperformer. It's an underperformer and all our Japanese are underperformers and they're your biggest gift. The ones you don't want to watch are your best friends. They are giving you the most money and you're failing to understand the delight and joy. We will not take you someplace if we do not expect it to do on the macro technically really, really well. And these have done exactly that. And you can literally have a tracker or you can get into our community and chase some of the better equities that are going to do even better than the general index um, and move forward. Seeing as I've mentioned Toyota, let's show you Toyota, for example. Oh, wow. You've just had another smaller time frame daily to to by the way, this is in dollars. This is not yen. So you're going to make in your dollars currency. You're going to get a breakout. We've got the next move all the way up to 220. This is on a short time frame. Uh, had you been in this earlier, you could see you could have come in all the way from the bottom and you've had this major recovery since this has truly taken uh, foot. And you can see you could have got in on the, the US version. A lot of that move was initially on the yen um, deval side and the shares weren't moving. You can see this share really only started moving in 23 on Toyota. Yes, it was doing pretty good. Uh, and you can see there was a great setup over here as well just before the high. But then we had sexy events all occur um, and we started to up the interest rates and that brought it all back down. So if we go back to the daily time frame, 
this is an absolutely beautiful little pop that you're getting right now and you've got a 220 on a 192 but you don't have to sell you don't have to sell because there's more there's overperformance. you're going to take out that weekly high it's likely to go uh, in the not too distant future. You will take out that weekly high of 213 in due course and make a lot more. This is Toyota. Here's another little friend for you that's also popped Mitsubishi Estate. These are big names that many of you have encountered. So that's all I'm giving you on the equity sides. The rest you can have a look. Uh, join our community, see our HVF setups, go and see our analysis on the Nikkei itself. For some of you, just having the index as a tracker is going to be good enough. By the way, Buffett doesn't. He moves multiple millions into billions, tens of billions uh, when he makes investments. So he can't get into illiquid markets for a quick trade. For those of you who go, the move is over, Francis. The move is over. It's going to run into resistance long before the previous high. And we're going to get these people. They tend to ride very officiously. Listen, we don't know the future. You don't know the future. Let's not pretend we do. On balance of probabilities, technical patterns continue to serve us exceedingly well. We make macro big calls that are regularly accurate. And this is another one. And on balance of probabilities with the devaluation of the yen, you are picking up these companies far cheaper because they're being bought in yen on a devaluing currency with a devaluing cost base, which is disproportionately at its head office and all its local production centers all going down. And they're now earning a currency that relative to the yen, not in gold ounces, all going up. By the way, let's do that. Uh, gold uh, and debt yield uh, arguments. So I'm going to do gold. We'll come back to the JP30 in a while. XAU, JPY. This was the first for those that said the precious metal bulls never came. So 2019, we covered a video on why gold long Japanese yen short and it was and has been the weakest currency for the last four or five years of the majors. We're not talking the Turkish lira and other emerging market nations, the Indian rupee. We are talking of the majors, the larger Western majors. It has been by far the weakest. And we said to you, 300,000. You're going to get 300,000 on this baby. And you could have got in, in and around the 140,000. Another 2x. At 2x, you could have been getting in during the 2019 at about 14, more than a 2x, and you would have run all the way up. Gold has done its job, and we've highlighted this regularly. This particular HVF absolute barnstorming overperformance runs 300,000. Many little wind-ups along the way, and look at that rejection after that. So that is the proof in the pudding that as a tier one nation the yen is on a major weakening and why because of what i've already explained they can't raise rates beyond a certain point they won't be able to afford the payment on their own debt which is 400 percent probably by now um, and as a result let's go look at the twitter feed what people on twitter have been saying on the nikkei recently and all of these have come out quite recently japan's population and bank uh, of japan balance sheet stroke nikkei are runaway trains in the opposite direction bank of japan has proven that asset prices are entirely up to the boj no they're not it got it got suckered into the pump and dump scheme and they now have no choice they don't have a choice they can't up rates they go straight into a bankruptcy uh, all the people coordinating from outside of japan will not let the japan ponzi fail until they're ready to pull all of them together you all became lepers you've all coordinated in that and you all coordinated in a coordinated fashion die however some are more weak than others and as a result can't lift rates so what do they do they buy their bond market to keep the valuations when others want to sell and they buy just about every other asset as well um, so that's one comment uh, that's kind of interesting uh, the demographics is 100 percent accurate the kobisi letter breaking news japan's 225 this was january the 10th it's only a handful of days ago in fact it's it's yeah it's two days ago Stock indexes rise 34,000. It's actually now 35,000 
for the first time since March 1990. You haven't been at 34, and in fact, it's 35 now. Um, so just another day, you've picked up another thousand points, 34 to 35 in a single day, a thousand points. That's like a 3% move. Uh, pretty spectacular. Both technology and healthcare stocks have been the main drivers. Technology, I would say, certainly. Recently, Warren Buffett began betting on a recovery of Japan's economy. What he's actually betting is on the, the continued downside of the yen and the relative trade advantage, a highly sophisticated, detailed quality manufacturing nation with technolo technological skills will bring to bear and how much market share they are going to steal from other companies and how filthy big and rich they're going to become in offshore currencies as their cost base continues to contract. That's right. So uh, there's the reference to Warren uh, Buffett. Japan is back in a bull market after 33 years. Waiting 33 years is a whole new uh, yeah, bull market to sit through. Still far from all times highs, says Okima. Nikkei breached 34 for the first time since March. Still it is about 4.5k short of the all time high of 38. Well, it's now 35. Uh, and that makes it only 3,000 and the all-time high will fail. So that's a little bit of people waking up to the Japanese story. There was one gent that was actually saying it's done too much. This has gone too far to melt up. It's all over. Um, and my news for you is that that absolutely wasn't. It's got a beautiful little rising. So let's go into the, the, the more recent technicals. We had a lovely HVF waiting in the wings here. Let's go uh, three day, shall we? Um, waiting in the wings here to wind you up. What's it doing? It's breaking the 30K. That's right, the 30K. Your triggering event was down at the 20K. After you ran the 30K super strong, what do you do? You go sideways, progress decay, progress decay. A lot of derivatives come home down below the line, down below the line, winding up, winding up, winding up. Then. You eventually trigger and boom bosh you're straight through today 35,000 you halfway to the next one where is that high the high was 38 let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look uh, let's move around and have a good little cook and a look hey my sweetheart here you are let's have a look put him in put him in put him in the new all-time high will be taken the new all bit time high will be taken in the not too distant future is and has been our call in the journey to the upside of the halfway mark uh, to 57,000. That's halfway to a ton, by the way. 57,000 is one heck of a target and that's going to lead to overshoot. That's going to call bubbles and everything. Guess what? That yen value will be even lower in terms the benchmark that you're measuring it will be even lower in those terms and these corporations with major market share outside the world for which their domestic market share is very small which is useful given their domestic uh, demographic situation will be making immense amount of money and that's what's coming 57,000 in normal charts is our call listen don't expect it this year <laughs> remember this is a huge, a huge, huge, huge setup that was triggered uh, back in for us in September 17. How many people were talking about the Nikkei? September 17. Man, I was sitting in Greenwich Village telling, talking to, to everybody about the great polarization of wealth event back then. And then it dipped back in March 2020. Then you left there never to return to 20K. March 2020 was such a seminal date for everything, guys. And you've gone non-stop largely up, apart from after you did the cheeky thing of running 30,000 and got some headlines. The minute the headlines come, you start to go down. So after the 35 has been well broken, you may get a rest pause. I could see us getting up to the 36.8 and then before the high, having a little bit of a pullback and a little bit of a wind up. Uh, before we do the dirty deed of making a new high. And it, during that period, macro, industrial, technological, 
big name companies in Japan will be stealing market share from their Western adversaries. The money will be going from West to East and they will be doing very, very well thanks to a currency benefit that uh, is now giving them extra just just when they uh, were starting to get demographic inverted, there's going to be they're going to be the leaders in AI. They're going to be the leaders in bot creation. They're going to be the super leaders in the the things they've always dominated. And this is going to be a very good move. So, are you long the Nikkei? Big question. Are you long the Nikkei? Do you have in your portfolio the Japanese major uh, currency yen hedge stocks that are going to steal market share? have their costs crushed and have their income boosted uh, immensely as well as selling more product. And what do you think that does for American tech companies, American uh, automotives? What do you think it does for European tech companies, uh, European automotives? Watch and see pressure time, pressure time for the likes of BMW, Mercedes, as well as the American car makers and a lot of the equivalent rivals to names such as Panasonic, etc. Okay, we got a smaller time frame set up. Let's just do the technicals right the way through, uh, right here. And that was very ascending and it's popped and you have now run the 35. Uh, could continue a little more, um, but if the hype gets a little bit too high, could do the 36.8 as we were suggesting. Um, but you might fizzle and have a little bit of a pullback. Dips to be bought, dips to be bought on balance of probabilities, in our opinion, non-financial advice, all the way up for your investment pot, uh, all the way to 57,000. Crazy number. Who else has said that? Who else has not bothered with a new high and has been talking about a number, the better part of 20,000 uh, points higher than the new high? Um, yes. HV of method, the market sniper, the crypto sniper and the reset sniper. Click the link below. We will do a reset video uh, again. We've been super busy. We're doing a, a lot of um, stuff inside the community. We released brand new app, released brand new desktop. Uh, so, you know, priorities have been moved around a little bit, but I will be doing a reset video. I look forward to doing that again with you. Um, click the link below, book a call and you too can start building your wealth on the great Japanese trade. And don't be scared because it's far away. The macros are right. You are paddling downstream uh, and you can do simple things just like uh, uh, an ETF or on the Nikkei 25 or a tracker. Okay, till next time. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share. You hear it here first, here on this channel, before anywhere else, before Buffett, before Drucken Miller, before other people. Uh, until next time, uh, leave us your comment. Are we going to make 57,000 on the yen, uh, the Nikkei, my apologies. What do you think the yen will be when that happens? We are truly interested to hear your opinion. Until next time, bye for now.